Hello, I'm Jackie Sutter. The major challenge in a laboratory working with pluripotent stem cells is the flawless culture of the cells. Therefore, it is mandatory that all reagents and media are perfectly tailored to sustain the cell's health and pluripotency. Daily duties include a visual check of the cultured cells to assess their morphology, media changes, and passaging of the cells. The latter can be accomplished by three general methods. First, the colonies are cut and the resulting cell clusters are transferred into new cell culture plates. This is the original passaging method for ES cell culture. However, nowadays it is less frequently used because it is more laborious, time-consuming, and not useful for large-scale expansion. The second method is to enzymatically passage single cells after dissociating the colonies with triple E or acutase. A rock inhibitor such as thiazovivin also needs to be applied in order to avoid cell apoptosis. This method results in high expansion rates since single cells are seeded. However, the handling time is still relatively long and overall the whole method is more stressful to the cells. Therefore, this is not the first choice for regular cell splitting. The third method, which we recommend, is passaging the cells in cell clusters. Let me show you how. After a visual check of the culture, the media is completely removed, cells are washed once, and the StemMax Passaging Solution XF is added to the cell culture plate. Once the colony edges start to detach, the passaging solution is removed and replaced with fresh media supplemented with rock inhibitor. Then the colonies are dissociated by gentle pipetting up and down. The resulting clusters are distributed into new pre-coded cell culture plates in StemMax IPS Brew XF supplemented with rock inhibitor. This procedure poses minimal stress to the cells and less hands-on time than the other methods. StemMax IPS Brew XF enables the easy adaption to feeder-free conditions. It also ensures robust culture conditions and a stable karyotype for different PSC lines. Its formulation is ideal for cell banking due to fast recovery after cryopreservation. PSCs cultured in StemMax IPS Brew XF show the typical colony morphology and highly express pluripotency related markers like TRA160 and SSEA3. Finally, all PSC lines tested showed differentiation into all three germ layers in teratoma assays, proving that cells cultured in StemMax IPS Brew XF stay pluripotent. To learn more about Milteni Biotech solutions for stem cell research and details of the StemMax IPS Brew XF, visit miltennybiotech.com slash stem cells.